Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a very exciting video for you and that is Zoho for life insurance agents. And so we've been working on this for a while and you may have seen our other video on Zoho for insurance more in the PNC home and auto world, but we now have a very specific roadmap and version of Zoho for life insurance agents. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we've built it. You can build it yourself. You can reach out to us to find out more, but specifically I'm gonna go through contact or lead management, policy management, lead forms, how to get leads into the CRM. I'm gonna talk about some of the reporting we have, both yearly annual reports and also just regular renewal reports. I then talk about some other apps in the Zoho suite that you may find interesting or valuable and we see a lot of life insurance brokers using. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. And also join my office hours. There's gonna be a link below. You can, it's a group setting, but you'll be meeting with me and you can ask me all kinds of questions about the life insurance CRM and how it works and how to get started. We'd love to see you in there. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into it. So what you see here is a customized version of Zoho that's tailored for life insurance agents. Now, you may be asking, well, on the homepage, I see long-term and travel, and technically this system can be tailored towards financial advisors in general, but in today's video, I'm gonna talk about specifically life insurance and how we've kind of tailored it towards that industry. So you'll see on the top here, top left, there's active policies by type that can be tailored slightly. If you don't like a donut chart, it can be a bar chart, but the idea here is this is relevant information for an insurance broker and specifically a life insurance broker. So any open tasks, any open opportunities, any policies closing this month, and where are my active policies? Then from there, we try to keep it pretty simple. We have contacts, accounts, opportunities, and carriers. And so the contact screen is people. It, it's humans or whatever you wanna call it. You'll see here, here's contacts. This is kind of the entry point into the CRM. Every policy needs a contact, right? It, it's your end client. Now, technically you can put underwriters in here, you can put realtors in here, you can put referral partners, whatever you want. But what you're seeing here is kind of our Kanban view of contacts that you can kind of follow through before they have a policy with you. And so this is lead management for lack of a better word. And so you'll see their stages from left to right needs to contact all the way to quoted. Cool thing is you can customize that, right? And so so we give you this and uh, we want to show you how to do this, but all of this is very customizable since it's built on Zoho. So you'll see here we have Massimo. He's in the not contacted stage. This is most commonly used when uh, they come from the web. Let's say Massimo came from the web. I'll talk about Zoho Forms in a little bit, how you can use it to actually capture online leads and insert them into the CRM. And then moving along is Massimo and then attempted to contact, contacted in progress. And some of the neat things are in here, we actually have some workflow rules set up where if you attempted to contact, it'll send an email saying, hey, Massimo, I left a voicemail. Please give me a call back, right? And so there's all kinds of neat things you can do with this, and we give you a bunch out of box. But the idea here is to organize your lead funnel. So let's open up a lead now. Here we go. This is area number one where it'll look different than the generic or the general Zoho. Let me just refresh here. Just zooming out a bit. In this version for life insurance brokers, we've actually tailored this and given it what's called a canvas. And so what you're seeing here is not what you'll see in the normal Zoho. We actually built this ourselves. And so on the left-hand side, you'll see Massimo. You'll see all the notes. And I encourage people always to write notes. This is a great way to interact with clients. Let's say you got off the call with them. You can write some notes, talk to Massimo, and you can actually tag your colleagues in it. So they'll receive an email with the tag if you want to use that. All of the fields here, are listed here. So they're in the all fields section. So if you need more information, their home phone, their mobile, their preferred language, where they heard about you. This is super important for life insurance brokers. Where'd you hear about me? Oh, you heard about me from an external referral. Great. Who was it? Oh, John, the agent. Yeah, he's great. And so we've actually set up what are called lookups. And I'd encourage you guys to do this where it can actually look up into the CRM so that you can track, okay, John, the agent sent me this business. Maybe you want to give him a gift at the end of the year or just keep track of how efficient he is. So we have that built in here. So this piece here, this is something we built specifically for the life insurance world. This is called ART, our relationship tracking software. And so it's an extension, but we give it to all our clients that are in our life insurance CRM. And long story short, what it does is it allows you to create relationships that can be kind of complex, right? So you could come in here and say, okay, well, Massimo has a contact and you could look up in the CRM and say Peter Griffin and Peter Griffin's relationship to Massimo is father. 
and Mossmo's relationship to Peter is son. And when you hit add, now it's going to say Peter is my father. Let's say Mossmo owns a holding company or something. You, you could go Blue Root and you could say Holdco, right? And so now Mossimo owns Blue Root the whole co and ABC the whole co. And so when you come in here, you can make very complex relationships, which is really, really neat and something that uh, a lot of people have been asking for in the Zoho suite. On the right hand side, you can see all the opportunities. So you'll see Mossimo's health plan, Mossimo's life policy. These are basically just the policies, right, that Mossimo has. In this video, I'm gonna be showing the life and talking about that quite a bit, but just keep in mind, the system can be tailored for just about anything, right? Let's go through that. Pretend now Mossimo, he's a contact. You've talked to him a few times, you've written some notes, maybe you send him an email. Now you're like, okay, I wanna create a policy and track where that is in the process. I got to send it to the life insurance carrier, then I got to follow up a bunch of times. So you're going to go to this page here. So now you're in the policy screen. And so you can see all of the life insurance policies by stage or by status. And again, all of these statuses can be changed. And think about this in the sense that this is when you now have talked to the client, they're interested, and now you want to track a policy. You want to start putting some numbers on it. You want to start reaching out to some carriers. You want to start putting a product or a plan together. And so that's what this is. So if I open up one of these, you'll see here, this is very customized as well. So you'll see along the top who it is, if they're part of a household or part of an account, you'll also see the policy number, uh, who the, uh, the carrier is, insured legal name, advisor, and then very specific fields for life, right? So insured legal name, term type, term length, permanent paid at, collateral assignment, life coverage, premium frequency. So all of this stuff is very tailored for the life insurance industry. And the idea here is to have all the relevant data, not too much data, but all the relevant data to renew the policy. And so if you're going to go build this out yourself, keep this in mind as you're doing it. There should be very critical dates. So those are all down here. And you should also have some premium details, right? And so this makes it very meaningful when you're talking to your client, you need that information at your fingertips. And so that's what we really strive for here in our life insurance version. And if you are trying to build this yourself, you should as well. So now we have an opportunity. You can move it through the stages here. I would encourage you if you are looking at this to think about some automations that you may want. We have a bunch in here that will automatically send a task to certain people on your team when it hits a certain stage. Some of these stages actually have an automated email that'll go to the end client saying, hey, just so you know, We've sent this to the carrier, we should hear back soon, right? And now all of that can be tailored. This is built on Zoho, right? But this is a time saver. At the end of the day, a life insurance agent's job is not to give status updates to the client, it's to get them in a great policy and work on that relationship. And so if there's value added pieces that you can give to the client without you actually having to write the email, that's a win. And that's what we tried to focus on here. So you could see here the architecture, there's contacts, which are people, they can be leads or they can be clients. And how we distinguish that, is right here in the contact. When we go to all fields, you'll have a contact type. And so we encourage people to get rid of leads, to have this contact type. And when someone comes into the system, they're, they're automatically created as a lead. Then when they get a policy, they'll be a current client, like when they have an active policy. If they're junk, you can mark them as junk. And so now, especially in the B2B world or even in the insurance world, it just makes it simpler if everyone's in the contact module. You don't need to have some people in the contact module, some people in the lead module, it just complicates things. And so now you have all of your life policies, you have the carriers that are attached to them, you have the term types and the term amounts and the renewal dates. A couple other things to keep in mind if you're looking at Zoho for life insurance. Number one, check out forms. These are really powerful. If you get leads from online, this is a really great way to use this. And in the Zoho One bundle, you'll actually get this where you can build a lead form here with the first name, last name, email, phone number, basically all the relevant stuff that a lead would fill out. And then you can actually integrate that back into the CRM, which is really handy. So you can come back here, you could say, okay, I wanna send this into the contacts. And then you can map the last name and the first name and all the stuff in your form back into the contacts. So now the lead can write in online, automatically be entered into your CRM right into this stage here, right? And if you want, you can actually trigger some automations off that. It's very tailorable for businesses that get a lot of online leads. So that's great. The other one in the other application inside of the Zoho One bundle that we see a lot of insurance brokers really like is Zoho Sign. So you can upload documents in here. You can send for signature. A lot of carriers accept this. You put the end client in there. It's like DocuSign or Adobe Sign or softwares like that. And you can tailor this. You can brand it for your business. The CRM coupled with forms, coupled with sign is a really, really neat package. Now let's talk about when your policies are at the end. So they're 
an active client, you have active policies with that client, they're all here in the active stage, you want to renew them or you at least want to call them to renew them, right? And so we have all kinds of reports and we'd encourage people to use them. And, and just to show you how easy it is, I can go in here, do opportunities, right? And I can come in here and customize this and you can say what you want in this report. So for example, I could say, okay, well, I want the renewal date. I want the closing date and I want the carrier. And I'm hit done. And you can resort it if you want. You can put a group and you could say group by carrier. So now you can see here, New York Life has three of them. And the neat thing is you can then filter this and say only show the ones that are renewing this year. And even further, you can then schedule these reports. So we have a bunch out of box already, but you can actually schedule them here, schedule reports. If you're the type that wants the reports in your inbox once a week or once a month on a Monday, you can actually come in here and you can actually hit new report scheduler, choose the type of report, choose the report. So if I just do something here, I say I want it to repeat weekly and then I want it via email and I want it to me, right? It'll automatically hit your inbox. So that's a really, really neat feature. And for people that want to call their clients and follow up with their clients, this is a really great way to stay on top of it. You don't have to remember every Monday morning or every first Monday of the month, you're automatically gonna get a report of all the renewals for the next two months. So in summary, if you're thinking of life insurance or if you're a life insurance agent and you're thinking of Zoho, we have a very customized solution for that and, and you can try to build it yourself. But the things to keep in mind are, number one, don't overcomplicate the leads and the contacts. Put it all in one module. Number two, accounts can be used as households or businesses and I would recommend doing that if you're going to be using this for life insurance. Number three, in the opportunity module, customize all the fields that are relevant to life insurance. The renewal date, the policy type, the term type, all of that information. Number four, have some reports, renewal reports, upcoming reports. Number five, use as much as you can in the Zoho suite. Forms is a great one for lead management. Sign is a great one for signing. There's all kinds of other apps that I haven't talked about. But if you keep it simple, you follow this, or reach out to us and we can help you with a solution for this, you're gonna find a lot of value in Zoho. It's one of the best tools out there. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching.